Redneck Science. Hi, I'm Pat, and I must confess that I am not the best boarder of boats. I've said it before, if you're going to say the whole, I lost my guns in a boating accident thing, then you're too much of a coward to actually put the teeth in the Second Amendment like it's supposed to be. But of course, it was really good to show off this case. I got these cases from Vulcan. Full disclosure, they sent them out, and I felt like the only way I could test these things out was to jump over a canoe and dump the whole thing out. Hopefully those purple-haired cubicle dwellers at YouTube don't see this as dangerous and harmful. I probably should have put a bar of soap down there by the thing and told them this redneck was going to get his weekly bath. They probably would believe that. Now down there at the lake, those fellas come back from lunch and they started bailing hay and all of that equipment was going to make too much noise so I had to get away from there so I didn't ruin my audio. I got me a fresh change of clothes and I got my Vulcan bags and you can see it is still wet even from the trip. Now this is their big rifle case. It's meant to hold two carbine length AR-15 styles, but you better understand that I'm going to put some daggum levers in here. Matter of fact, that's what I got in here. Had my lever sunk i'd been sending vulcan a freaking invoice for my gun and i did tie me a little blue rope to it just in case because basically three thousand dollars worth of guns we don't want to lose that right so we've got this really nice big t-handled pole i really like that and now these zippers now don't let me forget i'm gonna tell you about these zippers here shortly but let's go ahead and open this thing up i'm feeling it's completely dry now, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to show you with the camera about it being dry, but you guys are familiar with Taco Bell napkins. If there's any moisture in here, you see this is, well, there's a little bit of oil on it, but if there's any moisture in here, we'll be able to find it with this brown napkin. So here we are, brown napkin test. There is zero moisture. Just to show that it would turn brown. Redneck science. Change the camera angle. Let me show you this. We've got molly all across the front of this and there's molly on this front panel as well. Now they sell the rifle case by itself and then this right here is optional. So you get these two accessory pouches. What I'm gonna wind up doing with this is I am gonna put my tripod in here. Because I am all the time trying to figure out how to carry guns, carry camera, carry tripod. I'm trying to figure out that all the time. So my tripod will go inside here. Now let's go ahead and test this other case. We've got us a fresh piece of napkin. Completely dry. So that one held dry. That is pretty cool. So like I said, my tripod, I'll wind up keeping batteries, memory cards, everything in here. But for you, what you're gonna wanna see is there's a really nice divider. Then you've got corner holders right here. There's a pocket here and a pocket here for your barrel. There's some really nice straps to keep it held in there. And boy, I like it. The retention is really nice. And there's my Long Ranger Express. You guys know I love my Long Ranger Express. Had I thrown this in there and lost it, I would have been sending Vulcan a freaking invoice because I love my little gun. So now let's detail the zippers. This pole is really nice. And of course you need that pole because there is a little bit of added resistance. Of course, inside of every case, you get a tube of this. I wound up with six or eight tubes of this stuff. That to me, as far as I'm concerned, is a lifetime supply. I'll probably wind up losing a bunch. And then I have to go buy some petroleum jelly or something like that. But what you do is you'll go ahead and unzip this, open it up, and right here in the face of the zipper, you're gonna take and throw a little dab of this silicone right in that face, just like that. We'll put our tube back on here, and then you go give your zipper a pull. When you give that zipper a pull, that gets that silicone all in the teeth of that zipper. So that helps lubricate it and keep it watertight. Now here's the pistol case. The pistol case here has molly on the front of it. This little bag right here, the little sidecar is optional. It has molly on the front of it as well. 
Inside of this pistol case, you get two pistols and four mags each. So you can fit two guns and eight magazines inside. And of course, this right here would be for accessories, ammo, ears, eyes, whatever. So let's go ahead and check this out and see if this is watertight. Like I said, make sure you lube these things because they get really tight right out of the box. So we've got a fresh Taco Bell napkin, the finest in redneck science. So let's look at our napkin. No water spots, that's dry. Cool. Well, I know I went for a daggum drink. So let's open this up. Let's take our magic napkin from previous. We've got nothing, man. I mean, just bone dry. Inside here is my Remington R1 Enhanced. I freaking love this gun. I've had it for a daggum decade. Like I said, put your money where your mouth is and try it out with your favorite guns. We've got our mags here. This is a pretty cool little deal. Got my Walther PDP. I love this little Walther PDP. And I've got four mags for it, which was like pulling teeth. It comes with two mags, and Walther has not been very forthcoming with mags. But uh, yeah, man, a really nice, big, elastic type pocket. You put your gun in there, you're not worried about it slipping out. The mags have got a pretty nice retention. Four on this side, four on this side. Let's go ahead and stick my gun back in here and zip this thing back up. These T closures. I swear, I wish I had these T closures on more stuff like my camera bag or something like that. It's just a really nice, very positive, big way to pull. Now also they sent out a quick draw. This right here is meant for putting your gun in your vehicle, mounting it to the dash and then racking it. I'm not a huge fan of leaving guns in vehicles. Vehicles are not gun safes. If you want a gun to disappear, leave it in your vehicle. Now this right here with all of the unrest and things in the past, people blocking roads and things, putting a pistol right there at your knee and having easy access to it, I can see that. And of course right here is quick mag. You can put a magazine or pocket knife or whatever else and mount that in your vehicle too. That's pretty cool. Now they've got some carbon killer. And my buddy Rob Higgins, he's been on Instagram using this carbon killer and it's been breaking some pretty nasty junk. So I can't wait to try this stuff out. Well, I guess I'm gonna go home and clean these guns and throw a little coat of oil on them because technically the only enemies they have are politicians and rust, which you could actually just say politicians and moisture, but I'm not gonna be that nerdy. So huge thanks to Vulcan for sending these out. Without companies that would send things, I wouldn't have stuff to make content with. So that is huge. Also a big thanks to you, the viewer. Thanks to my Patreon supporters. Thanks to all of you that hit that thumbs up. And I really appreciate everybody that's in the comment section. I really love fraternizing with you guys as much as I can. Sometimes comments get a little overwhelming, but I usually try to stay on top of it as best I can. But anyway, I love you. I love my new cases and that's wet. That's the look of instant regret. <laughs> Y'all have a wonderful day. Eight pounds a gallon, stupid. <laughs>